I'm here with Claudia from Ale, who's going to talk us through three highlights from the Ale range. We've got their eco performance fabrics, we've got their gravel range, and we've got their new graphene infused clothing. So, Claudia, over to you with what's new from Ale. Okay, let's start from uh, the uh, eco performance uh, fabrics. Uh, Ale is uh, very attentive, uh, as well as uh, many sports brands nowadays, uh, to the uh, uh, sustainability and to the planet. So uh, we are introducing uh, the, a unique uh, jersey and bibs in an up to 90% recycled fabrics. They are all certified from the global recycle standards. Uh, obviously, the little details uh, like the zipper or the plastics uh, uh, are not recycled, but the rest of the fabrics is totally recycled from source. So, like compared to a regular jersey, how does it perform? It performs equally. It gives uh, the same uh, performances of a normal Lycra jersey. So it's uh, super breathable, it's elastic. We obviously uh, put a mesh uh, fabric on the back for further uh, breathability. There are three pockets on the back and there is a small, let's call it, eco pocket uh, to stash uh, rubbish or gels on the go. Uh, you should not throw <laughs> out of the bikes. Yeah, please, please be attentive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's a range of both men's and women's clothing. Is it just for road riding? It's just for road riding. Well, Lycra, you know, uh, could be also for cross country. So, uh, yeah, it's mainly for road riding for both men and women. And it comes in uh, five different color versions. It's been dyed and, uh, and printed. And uh, uh, it comes with uh, his uh, uh, matching bib shorts uh, with a pad, which is recycled as well. Obviously, always at source. It's a four hour pad uh, with. Uh, up to 30 millimeters of thickness and it also comes with five uh, uh, matching uh, graphics uh, on the uh, bottom of the leg. So if you've been paying attention to cycling at all for the last few years you'll know that gravel cycling is quite a big thing and LA have been listening and have brought out their own gravel line as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, though the gravel line from Ale is not meant for super performance gravel uh, riders, those that do those crazy uh, gravel races, it's uh, meant for a uh, um, say more sportive uh, kind of uh, uh, rider, uh, going bikepacking, even commuting, uh, or yeah, just exploring and uh, and ride uh, where the, the heart brings. <laughs> So the line uh, is composed of outfits always for men and women. Uh, I'm introducing to you particularly the Joshua jersey, which uh, has always uh, uh, a very good fit, but again, not too uh, tight, very comfortable, though without the, uh, you know, sale effect, no flapping uh, on the sides uh, with fabrics uh, which are meant for the uh, uh, practicality and functionality. There are two uh, rails in mesh uh, on the back which are meant when you wear a pack so to uh, uh, have more breathability and avoid to have uh, uh, this uh, backside overheated. Uh, there are anti-abrasion inserts uh, on the shoulders again for wearing comfortably uh, a backpack. It has been dyed and reprinted to get this uh, nice melange uh, uh, effect. So as well as riding with a pack you may want to carry stuff in pockets and this has quite a lot of cargo pockets. In between uh, the jersey and the bib shirt you have like 10 cargo pockets uh, in total. So plenty of space for whatever you may need on your ride. Uh, it's very functional from that point of view. So for example, the jersey has uh, up to five uh, pockets on the back, plus one zipper for your most valuable objects. 
So you've also got the bib shorts here and they also have a ton of cargo storage as well. Yeah, they have a, up to four cargo pockets, two on the back and two on the sides of the, of the leg. Although they are uh, Lycra bib shorts, so the classic style uh, uh, racing bib shorts with the mesh uh, all over the back and on the braces for uh, breathability. Uh, reflective details are also something which is important for a lay, uh, for safety, so you will find plenty of the reflective details uh, in the whole line. And if it's not reflective details you're getting from Ali, at the very least you're going to be getting some wild colours. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, graphics and aesthetics for Ali are of top importance. So uh, the whole line of clothing, in fact, has uh, very distinctive, very unique uh, graphics and, and colours. And then last on our list we have the graphene range and graphene's very big in cycling now. Do you want to talk us through why Ali's used it in its clothing? Well, uh, graphene has various properties which have been, in fact, as you said, applied to uh, several sports objects starting from tires to uh, wheels and so on. But why particularly for uh, garments? Because uh, they are anti-static and that's super important because static can um, affect the performance of the rider. The graphene has uh, antibacterial properties so to avoid the growth of bacterial and honey-based odors and most important uh, it can heavenly distribute the temperature of the body. So it has like thermal regulation properties. And this is why Ale decide uh, to include graphene into the membrane of the fabric. The outfit is called Velocity G+, so in a known graphene jersey you have uh, those classic overheated areas which are for example in the armpits or on the back. Uh, while on the front it's colder. Uh, we noticed that there was a total different uh, uh, disposition of the heating areas. Uh, with a graphene jersey, the heat was heavily distributed. So you mentioned the line is called Velocity suggests maybe for fast riding. Do you want to explain why? Yeah, first of all, uh, the fabrics of uh, both uh, the jersey and the bib shorts have been tested in a uh, wind uh, tunnel for aerodynamics. The producer of the fabrics uh, gave us the results and we decided how to use them on the uh, jersey itself and on the bib shorts. So particularly uh, on the jersey, we put a specific fabric which feature 3D uh, drawing on the sleeves. There are long laser cut uh, sleeves which mimics the um, golf ball effect. So definitely adding to uh, the aerodynamic aspect uh, uh, of, the, of the jersey and helping in being more aerodynamic when, uh, when riding. This is definitely a high performance outfit. So there is a matching set of bib shorts as well? Yeah, bib shorts do not feature graphene, but they do feature, they are really complex, they are probably one of the uh, top, top notch uh, product uh, in the uh, bib shorts uh, line of LA. Uh, they feature different panels, not just for compression, but also for aerodynamic and particularly on the side. Uh, there is uh, this micro 3D drawing for the golf effect that I was talking before is replicated on the side uh, of, the, uh, of the bib shirts. The bib shirts also feature uh, a total back uh, in micro mesh so for higher breathability uh, they are uh, they also feature a new uh, stability system to uh, avoid the, the shorts to come up they allow for a perfect compression of the muscle but without blocking the blood flow all of this talk of breathability sounds wonderful to a sweaty Scotsman like me, but Claudia has something more appropriate for my home climate. Yeah, absolutely. The Scots weather can be bad sometimes, so 
uh, but not just for the Scots weather, even for Italy. The Velocity uh, G Plus line also comprises uh, a new uh, jacket. This jacket, uh, which name is G Plus, DWR, has graphene inside, and graphene is of top importance here because uh, uh, the jacket, uh, although being very breathable and water repellent and very elastic, it obviously stays very fit to your body. So it's important for the thermal regulation in this case and also for odor control, obviously, which are all properties that graphene gives to, the, to this apparel. From the cat point of view, as I said, uh, it's very fit, so no sail uh, effect. And uh, it's part of the climatic line of Alley, which uh, comprises a whole range of uh, both winter or summer uh, jackets meant for all kinds of weather as a further protection or against wind or rain. So thank you so much to Claudia for talking us through the Alley range and we're really interested to see how graphene is used throughout the range in the future with Alley. There will be definitely a very interesting future implementation in the line but thank you so much for, uh, for this interview and uh, for, uh, for spending time with us at Alley. No worries, thank you very much.